there are today 963 million people who are hungry. This is unacceptable, almost 1 billion hungry people. Our objective is to eradicate totally uh, hunger from the face of the earth by the year 2025. The first challenge is to ensure that these 1 billion uh, people get access to food and have the most basic of human rights, which is the right to exist. And you don't exist if you don't eat. And the second challenge is that we are in a world where the population will increase to 9 billion uh, by the year 2050. And as a consequence, we need to double the present world food production in a sustainable way. Well, first, there are problems that are international. There are problems that are national. Uh, and there are problems uh, that are uh, local. When you discuss about international trade, that's not a local issue. And there are issues also of food quality and food safety. The standards uh, uh, have to be international. But as one of my teachers used to say, Agriculture is the science of local conditions. But the research also has to be done nationally and internationally. There are all those uh, uh, potentials uh, that have to be exploited to address the problem uh, of uh, 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 food security at international, uh, national, and local level. First, the priorities today of poor countries are water control. The second problem is to build storage facilities. Africa and developing countries in general are losing up to 60% of their production. We have to build also the rural roads uh, and naturally adequate animal feed for the animals and naturally for, for aquaculture. These are the priorities. We should revisit all the mechanisms uh, of uh, governance uh, of food security uh, to try to adopt the proper institutions and give them the necessary mandate to do their job properly and in a coordinated and integrated way. We need also to ensure that farmers in the world, be they from developed or developing countries, are able uh, uh, to get an income that is comparable to that of workers in the secondary and tertiary sector. And we need also to mobilize the resources to invest in rural infrastructure in particular and access to inputs for uh, those uh, one billion uh, uh, hungry people around the world so that they can produce uh, food uh, on their own uh, and be uh, uh, independent uh, of uh, other forms uh, of uh, assistance. Uh, we organized a first summit uh, in 1996. This was the first time heads of state and government of the world were meeting to discuss a problem so fundamental as the food security of the world. We adopted an objective of cutting by half the number of hungry people by the year 2015. Uh, uh, instead of increasing investment, uh, the investment is going down. Instead of achieving the goal set for 2015, if we continue the way we are doing, we'll achieve it in 2150. We had indicated that we were running the risk of a crisis in the world. As we didn't take any action, the crisis came, and you have seen riots in 22 countries around the world. A number of people died. Therefore, it's clear now that the problem of food insecurity is not only an economic, social, and ethical problem, but it's a problem of peace and security in the world.